Hello friend, today is gate 39, the gate of the provocateur and obstruction. So it's fun to walk around and, and understand design in a way that is, um, enhances the experiment. So the 39th gate sits in the root. So here we have another root gate. But this one is actually uh, in the individual circuitry. So of course, what comes along with the individual circuitry, but mutation and melancholy. Um, there's a fuel to provoke the spirit. Okay, so the 39th gate is pointing up to the 55th gate and it's provoking the spirit of others. So the value of obstruction in provoking analysis, assessment, and reevaluation. So if you have this 39th gate, what you'll also notice is that there is some obstruction in the life. You're not only provoking other people, <clears throat> but what you'll notice is you get provoked by obstructions, okay? And that, that is there to have you go into analysis and assessment and reevaluation. I know this one very well. It is a part of my design. And um, I really pay attention to it, um, especially when I'm driving. That's one that's really uh, apparent to me because I'll be cruising along and all of a sudden there'll be this vehicle that pulls in front of me and slows down. And I'll, I'm always like, what is going on here? And then it's just to get me to be aware, right? And assess the situation. Lots of times there will be an animal in the ditch or um, there'll be something going on that needs me to slow down. So uh, the universe is saying, okay, yield. You need to, you need to just take this abstraction and, and pull back and reassess and analyze because I've also had times where I end up in places that I never even thought I was going to end up so that I can have a conversation with somebody or an interaction with somebody or um, there's a billboard that I get to read. Something takes place. So the obstruction isn't always a bad thing, right? And the obstruction 98% of the time is a good thing. The only other 2% is because um, my mind wants to say it's not a good thing. <laughs> so the individual energy of self-empowerment, individuality is, you know, there's an empowerment piece there. So the provocateur is seeking out the spirit, trying to provoke it into expression. It's moody. Um, you can irritate people, and those people are not right for you. So if I'm irritating them, um, hmm. So there can be lots of people here that are watching these videos and they can only watch it for a short period and then they're gone. They'll never come back to my channel and watch any of these videos again because either uh, the tone is not right for them, um, the way I present things is not right for them, and or they're not on my fractal or they're not ready to, to step into their own spirit. And I have noticed this, it's so funny, uh, when, I do, um, when I do trade shows, when I, when I have a booth at trade shows, I watch people, like they will almost plaster themselves on the table um, across the alley from me, or if there's a wall or whatever it is, they will plaster themselves up against there because they are not ready for this life-changing information. They're not ready to have me provoke their spirit. And I'm just standing there. I don't engage with them because that's not my design. I'm here to respond. So if somebody looks at me and, 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 they, and they hold eye contact, then my, I just allow for my body to respond, whether that be a smile, whether that be verbal, whether that be body language. I just trust that the body will respond. But who is correct walks up to my table. Who isn't correct 
they can't even they most of the time they don't even see it um but they they're just like they're they're not there so this has been fun for me uh knowing design and then being able to have experiences with it oh it's so much fun and not taking anything personally i don't take anything personally i don't give a shit um if people want to hear this information or not it does not matter to me what does matter to me is i am here to educate and I educate and those that are on my fractal and can hear the information, they will show up. And I do not take it personally if they don't show up. Because it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with the mechanics and where they are at in their true self or their not self. So what's fun is that I can watch this stuff, um, and again, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with a video and um, some information about how powerful the not self can be, and some interactions that I've had recently with a client that obviously is not going to be a client any longer uh, because the not self was like way powerful, way powerful in their lives. So and that's okay, that's okay. Um, maybe down the road that person will be able to uh, hear their design again from a different person, possibly, um, at a different time, at a different place, those kind of things. So the not-self here will feel a pressure to provoke people, and this will only irritate others. Like, you, you don't have that energy if it's undefined in your, in your body graph. It's not... A, Mm, it's not in your nature to do that. So, if you're trying to provoke people, instead of just showing up with your own spirit, there's going to be a whole ton of pressure there. And what's really funny is that, of course, the root center is always trying to move up to the throat, right? Um, if you look at design, all roads lead to the throat. Everything is trying to get to the throat to take action and manifest. So the root center, that, that undefined 39th gate, wants to express provocation. Right? There's a fuel there, and the fuel wants to get pushed up into the throat. So, you know, what have I witnessed? Um, hmm. Lots of untimely provocation. When you have the 39th gate, the energy of provocation is in your auric field. And people will either interact with it or not. But when you don't have it, and people interact with you because they are actually coming for your spirit that can be very off-putting when the not self mind starts to provoke and be rude and mean and and irritate people and and what i love is that you know most of the time the not self wants to you know pat itself in the back and oh yeah i told them the truth and they didn't like it and blah 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 mm, it's not really what it's about uh, your truth is your truth, and the truth of the other is their truth. So you can't actually tell anybody the truth. <laughs> you have to experience your own truth. And people uh, that are in the not-self are trying to project truth onto other people. Uh, your truth is your truth. My truth is my truth. And it only comes through experience. So if uh, you feel moved, uh, there's an initiation, you want to respond, uh, you feel invited to, to be educated in, in your design, um, let me know. Here is uh, my contact information and, you know, we can, we can look at individuality, we can look at your relationships, we can look at your family, we can look at career, we can look at entrepreneur, we can look at business. It flows throughout everything in life. 
So again, I appreciate and thank you for your time.